was young, so were many of its bad men. Billy the Kid was famous, but there were others just as young, just as vicious. There were also youngsters who might have turned killer, but for help at the right moment. Rex Allen stars as the Frontier Doctor. You sure you want to go through with it, kid? Yeah. Hank comes from a family of killers. He's a friend of Bell Star, you know. I ain't afraid of him. Choose your gun. There's one bullet in each. Did you explain the rules? I know the rules. Okay. Let's get it over with. You fire at the count of five. One, two, three, four, five! Looks like you missed. Go ahead. It's too bad you couldn't have figured some other way of proving what a big man you are. Maybe if you was to beg, I'd let you off. I ain't doing that for anybody. You ask for it, kid. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> you ain't dead, kid. Them was blanks. <laughs> blanks? You make a fool out of me, you... Hey, take it easy, kid. You only wanted to see if you had the guts to go through with it. Hey, nothing to get sore about, kid. You did fine. I did? Yeah. Now all you gotta do is pull a job with us and you're in. What kind of a job? I will start you on something easy. Like holding up a store. Hey, Doc. Evening, Asa. If you're not busy, I'd like to see you for a minute. Yeah. You're just holding up a little checker game with the sheriff. <laughs> Doc, I cut my finger yesterday. Kind of sore right here. One of you'd mind taking a look at it. Put some iodine on it? I sure did like to burn the doggone thing off. Yeah, it looks all right now. Put some more iodine on it and keep this old dirty bandage off of it. Let the air get to it. Fine, thanks, Doc. How much do you? One cookie. <laughs> Help yourselves. <coughs> hey there now, shame on you, Prince. Now you be quiet there. What's the matter? He ain't been feeling so good here lately. Might be a little touch of distemper. Oh? He's not better by morning. Bring him over and we'll have a look at him. Sure will, Doc. Thanks. Good night, Doc. Good night. Jeff. I want to talk to you. What about? Your sister tells me you've been running around with Hank and that other bunch of boys. Paula's got to have something to complain about. It hasn't been easy for her, Jim. Since your folks passed away, she's had to be a mother and father both to you. It's time she quit trying so hard. That's what I told her. What? When I was 16 years old, I tried to be the toughest kid in town. I figured it was the only way I could make people know I'd grown up and amounted to something. What are you driving at? I was lucky. Before I got into serious trouble, I found that if a man really knows he's a man, you don't have to keep proving it. Thanks for the words of wisdom, Doc. Good night, Jim. Store? 
You uh, ain't going chicken, are you? No. Let's get on with it. Sorry, I'm. What are you kids? Shut up! Get over there. What's the matter? Come on. Come on. Get the cash drawer. You've been there all evening. Doc Baxter saw me in town. Okay, okay. But if anyone asks you about the holdup, you didn't see anything. Without a witness, it can't prove we did it. I won't say anything. You better not, if you want your sister to stay healthy. What's Paula got to do with this? Nothing. If you keep your mouth shut. First you shoot an old man, now you're threatening women. Now wait a minute. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut because I have to. But from now on, keep away from me. Anything you can do? I don't think so. Asa. Asa, can you hear me? What happened? Three youngsters held me up. Youngsters? Do you recognize any of them? Wore warm mask. Prince bit one of them. The princess. Ten to one, that gang of Hanks did this. I wouldn't be surprised. That Hank's no good. Father a murdering half-breed, his mother even worse. Wish he'd stayed in Arkansas. Friends of Bell Stark. Prince bit one of the robbers. In the morning, I'll round up that gang of Hanks. And if one of them doesn't have a bite, I'll be mighty surprised. You go on home, Doc. I'll take care of Asa. Easy, boy. Easy now. You taking him with you? Yeah, he hasn't been feeling too well anyway, and with Asa gone, well, an animal can grieve almost as much as a human. Come on, boy. See you in the morning, Joe. Come on. I took the dog home and then headed for the Mason place. I hadn't mentioned seeing Jim before the holdup because if the boy wasn't involved, I didn't want to make trouble for him. Dale, it's you. Come in. All right. Jim here. What's wrong? Mr. Goddard's store was held up. I knew this would happen. We don't know Jim was mixed up in it, Paula. I just... Then why do you... Well, I talked to him just a short while before, and I thought he might have seen someone. Jim, come out here. I was just going to bed. Never mind. I want to talk to you. All right, what's the matter now? Oh, hi, Doc. Hello, Jim. Goddard's store was held up. So what's that got to do with me? Mr. Goddard was killed. Oh, no. It happened right after I talked to you, and... What's the matter with your leg? It's nothing. I caught on with some barbed wire. Maybe I better have a look at it. Why, why should you? It's nothing. Ace's dog bit one of the boys. And you want to check my leg and see if it was me, is that it? If it's just a scratch, you don't have anything to worry about. Sure. Check all you want to. Sit down. Now get in there and put your clothes on. We're going to the sheriff. 
Come on. The next day, Leo Wilde and other members of the gang were questioned. They claimed they knew nothing and furnished each other alibis. They were lying too, but we couldn't prove it. In the days that followed, Paula and I tried again and again to make Jim talk, but the answer was always the same. I told you I wasn't even there. No one thinks you killed Mr. Goddard. Why are you protecting the person who did? I'm not protecting anybody. Then what are you doing? According to the sheriff, if a bunch of guys break in someplace and somebody gets killed, it don't make no difference who fired the shot. All of them are guilty of murder. That's what the law says, Jim, but there can be exceptions in any case. I'd still go to jail. Well, that's better than hanging. I ain't so sure. How can you say such a thing? Look, I'm sorry, sis. It's on account of you I gotta play it this way. Did someone threaten to harm Paula if you talked? I don't know what you mean. All right, Jim, I give up. Let us out, Joe. Sheriff's with him. That means he's alone. Come on around to the alley. break down eventually. They always do when they realize we mean business. See you, Doc. I see you home. No, thanks. I... Oh, Doc, I was over the telegraph office a while ago. They gave me this for you. Almost forgot. Thanks. Something the matter? Some vaccine I ordered won't be in Elk until tomorrow noon. Is that bad? Paul, I want to tell you something. I don't want to alarm him under observation. Why? For rabies, you see, when... Hydrophobia? Well, there's always that possibility with a dog, but precaution I can by keeping him confined. Well, how could he have rabies? There hasn't been a mad dog in town. A dog isn't the only carrier of the disease. Prince could have been bitten by a squirrel or a coyote. Well, then why didn't you give Jim the vaccine right away? I don't know the dog is mad, and even if I'd had the vaccine, I wouldn't have used it. The Pasteur treatment is so painful it well a doctor doesn't use it unless he has to when will you know well, if he doesn't show any symptoms by monday we can assume that the bite was harmless i saw a man die of hydrophobia once it was terrible look if prince is rabid and there's no reason to believe that he is we still have plenty of time to get the boy over to elkton for treatment don't worry about it all the next morning when i returned from making an emergency call Paula was waiting for me. Good morning, Paula. What brings you out so early? I've been waiting for you since the sun came up. I'm so worried about Jim. How's the dog? Well, I haven't had a chance to look. Mrs. Jenkins had her baby this morning about 4 o'clock. A big, nine-pound, bouncing baby boy. Come on in and have some coffee. Well, can't we look at the dog first? Sure, if you like. I keep him here in the barn. It's a little cooler. Get out of here, Paula. Look out. Move. Foam around his mouth. This stage he's partially blind. He'll attack the first thing that moves. You can't let him run around loose. 
There's a gun in my desk drawer. Get it, will you? killed anything before. The disease would have killed him anyway. We saved him from a more painful death. What about Jim? We've got to get him to Elkton. Uh. An extra key in the drawer of the desk. Got a hold of a gun somewhere. When did it happen? Oh, about midnight. He asked for a drink of water, and as, he, as I stuck my hand through the bars, You've got to find him, Joe. That dog that bit him had rabies. Rabies? The vaccine comes in on the train tomorrow in Elkton. I've got to have him there to meet that train. Do you mean if, if we don't find him, it'll be too late? Should be. You two, come here. Doc, go to the livery stable and get yourself a horse. Jim Mason escaped last night. You get a posse and search north of town. Come on. You and I and the doc will go in the other direction. Let's go. who had seen Jim, or somebody like him, heading in the direction of Smuggler's Cave. He was leading a lame horse. that rifle. We know somebody's in there. We've seen your tracks. You better come out or we're coming in after you. It's Jim, all right. Listen to me. This is Bill Baxter. That dog that bet you had rabies. I've got to get you to Elkton for treatment. You can think of a better story than that. I'm telling the truth. I don't believe you. Jim, you have rabies. Once symptoms develop, you'll die in agony and no one can help you. I don't believe you. You'll never convince him. Whether you believe the doc or not, you better come out. You're cornered. I'd rather die the rest of my life in jail. Come on, come on after me. Stubborn fool. Come on, Sam, let's get him. Wait a minute. If we rush in there, somebody's going to get hurt. I'll go in alone. Well, that's suicide. That boy's not a killer. Jim, I'm coming in to talk to you. Jim, I don't have a gun. I just want to talk. You're no killer, Jim. Don't come any closer, Doc. I mean it. I'm not going to let him hang me, and I'm not going to let him hurt Paula. Nobody's going to hurt Paula. Now put that gun down. Not a chance. Don't make me do it, Doc. Please don't make me do it. What I told you about the dog, Jim, is true. Did you ever see a dog die of rabies? With foam coming out of his mouth and beating his head against the ground? Well, it affects humans the same way. You don't want to die like that, Jim. Frothing at the mouth and beating your head against these rocks out here with nobody to help you? That's not the way. Come on, boy. Hey, 
They caught him. We're as bad off now as we were before. All right, Jim. Get on your horse. He's lame. Come on, you can climb up behind me. They put him in that jail in Elkton. We'll never get him out. He'll spill everything he knows. There's only three of them. There's four of us. We'll try to hold him off. Cut over the ridge. Don, Doc, we're taking over. I gotta get to Elton. You're getting out of the country. Look, the dog that bit me had rabies. The doc's taking me for treatment. Who are you kidding? It's true, Hank, honest. You fool, you told him my name. I knew it anyway. Get Don. And you get out of here. Look, Hank, I gotta have that vaccine. If there's anything wrong with you, we'll take you to the doc in Elton to get you fixed up. Sorry, Baxter. But you could identify me if I let you go. No! Don't be a fool. It's the only way you'll ever be in the clear. I'd rather go to jail. Well, I wouldn't. The others. The deputies got him. This is quite a haul. Were these two mixed up in the killing? Hank did the shooting. You'd have saved us a lot of trouble if you'd have said that in the first place. I know, Sheriff. Come on, Jim. We've got to get to Elkin. All right, you two. Let's go. Pain will go away in a minute. It's been three days. How much longer? At least 15. 15 more. Then I'm going to stay in trial. Sheriff thinks you'll get off with a light sentence. Don't matter. I can take anything they throw at me. I, I can even take having a sister that treats me like a ten-year-old idiot. She won't. Not anymore. You know, it, it's funny. Here I am in jail, in a peck of trouble. I feel great. I, I guess it's because I know everything's going to turn out all right. Sounds like you're growing up. Doc, I want to thank you for, well, helping me to grow up. Don't you remember? You said a, you said a man that, that knows he's a man don't have to keep on trying to prove it. I said it, Jim, but that's something every man has to learn for himself. Is it the hard way? later, Hank Butts and Leo Wilde were sentenced to 10 years to life in the state prison. 
Jim Mason, because of his cooperation, received a six-month sentence and then was paroled to the custody of his sister. Jim had learned that a man who knows he's a man doesn't keep proving it.